to Next Level Athletics and Fitness training session. Today's training session is going to be on how to get the proper lean when running or sprinting. How to initiate that lean from the start and how to maintain that lean. Uh -huh. So what we are going to talk about today is leaning. A lot is said about leaning, uh, even as far as degrees, three to five degrees, but how do you really know what three to five degrees is? Uh, based on your height, your, your torso, your leg length, and things like that, the link changes for each individual. So what we're going to show you today is, is how you can figure out the best link for you at the start of a race and during a race. So one thing you have to do is, a lot of people lean at the ankles. We suggest that you lean at the ball of the foot, and we'll show you the difference and we'll show you why. So when people lean at the ankle, they will lean this way and what wants to happen is that your heels want to come off the ground and your toes stick which really doesn't prevent you, uh, which doesn't allow you to go forward. And, and so you often have to pick up a foot to initiate forward movement. So a lot of times when you're leaning at the ankles, you have to pick up your foot to start moving forward. Now if you lean at the ball of the foot, you don't have to pick up a foot to start the movement. All you do is let gravity take you away and keep up with the gravity. So if I'm going to lean at the ball of my feet, I'm going to curl my toes up, rock on the ball of my feet so my heels come off the ground, and then I'm going to go ahead and lean that way and off. As long as I maintain that lean, I will keep moving forward, 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 and run easy uh, using less energy, which would be more efficient, so I can actually go faster uh, without using more energy. So, Good. so what we want to do is, don't you flex your toes up, plant a flex so you can roll forward on the ball of your feet, and then go ahead and put your shoulders out over your feet, and off you go. Now for sprint starts, same thing really applies is we want to work the ball our foot to initiate the lean, our forward hip movement. So I'm going to do it from a three point or four point stance. It works the same way. I'm going to establish the ball of my foot, toe up, heel up. Go ahead and set my stance down. Now, hand ready. I'm going to put pressure on the ball of my foot, and as I come out, I just want to press down the ball of my foot to maintain hip. That allows me to get my hips going forward and maintain a nice lean versus popping up. A lot of people do this here, three point stance, no matter if you foot here or here, and the first thing they do is come out and stick pop up. Do that again. The difference between those two is one allows my hips to go forward, the other allows my hips to stay in the same place. And I want my hips to go forward. So you always should work off the ball of your foot to help initiate your lean, which will get your hips going in the right direction. Now we're going to show you a drill that helps you work on leaning. Uh, we call it backwards forwards, where we're going to work on leaning to initiate a backwards run, and then we will reverse that lean to a forward lean to go to a forward run. And it goes like this. As always, I'm still going to Dorsal flex my toes to and plantar flex at the same time to establish the ball of my foot. Then I'm just going to lean backwards and I start. And then change. This doesn't work anymore. What? We're going to lean backwards and then reverse it to a forward lean and try to maintain that lean as we pick up speed. So once again, Dorsal flex the toes, plantar flex, go ahead and lean backwards, you start, 
hands work, and then chain. What you want to make sure of is that you do not bend while trying to lean. What I mean by that is, once your butt stays in place, it goes backwards, you're now bending versus we want to bring it with us. That's how we know we're leaning. Remember, if you do this, butt goes backwards, you're not bringing it with you. Your hips are going in the wrong direction. So make sure that you bring it with you and you can move. 